Yo, what's going on, everyone? It is your boy X Big Chris X here, and uh, today I have some Black Ops 2 gameplay for you guys. Uh, using the PDW, going a, a quick little 19 and 5 uh, on Overflow. So not that bad. I hope you guys uh, do enjoy it. Now, what I really want to talk about today is uh, something that kind of changed my life around a little bit. Not like completely, uh, but it was. It kind of was a little wake-up call. So. Uh, last week around Valentine's Day, um, you know, it was the day to give, you know, that special someone you love gifts and stuff like that, and I gave my girlfriend, um, you know, a, a nice night. Um, you know, I dealt with our daughter, I uh, put, put bed, uh, got a little movie for us to watch. We watched Here Comes the Boom, which is, it's a pretty good movie, honestly. Despite the ratings that it's gotten, I think it's a really good movie. Um, you know, and... You know that's what I did, and I also got some uh, strawberries, chocolate, white and dark, cho white and uh, milk chocolate. Uh, you know, no flowers or anything, but you know, she she'd ra believe me, she'd much rather have the chocolate. Uh, anyway, so uh, I, as I went to go get this chocolate, um, it was at my local uh, food market, and uh, not like local, like it's an it's a big you know, supermarket that's around, um, you know, all the states, I believe, but, you know, whatever. So, I went out, uh, went to go get my, uh, little gifts for her, and I went to what we, what we call a dollar store, I know some of you might have, like, a 99 cent store, store, or an 89 cent store, you know, stuff like that. So, I went to there first, and, and they're fairly close, they're walking distance, but to get to the, that place, it's in a plaza, so I had to take, you know, my truck out drive over there. So I drove over there, uh, went to that dollar store first, didn't have anything I was looking for. I think I could grab, like, a bottle of ketchup so I could have hot dogs, but, um, so went back outside, uh, carrying this bottle of ketchup, and I was, you know, gonna go put it in the car, I said, eh, whatever, forget it, so, um, I went over, Turned around, put it back in the car, because I was like, well, fuck it, I'm not carrying this into another market. You know, they're going to think I stole it or something. And, you know, as I was leaving the market with all my stuff uh, in my hand, I walk out. And for those of you who don't know, I'm on the East Coast, so I just had that huge, uh, like, blizzard, I guess. You know, Nemo, I think that's what they call it. And we have, like, mounds of fucking snow in, like corners of all the streets uh so and at this particular place it was full of snow every corner was at least a good 10 feet and i'm and i'm like close to six feet so it's got got a few good inches on me i mean a good few feet <laughs> and uh so i'm leaving walking out and you know it's a bl it's like really a blind spot so this car turns around the corner and i don't know what the fuck happened I, you know, it, it, it's that mode, I think it's when your endorphins, like, kick in, like, you know how a mother can lift, lift up a car to save her daughter or something like that, or their son, and whatever, that happened, and the car came, and it, everything just, like, slowed down for me, it just, like, slowed down really quick, and, like, I know it wasn't actually slow, it just felt like it was slowly happening, so this guy... I want to say he's going, like, a good 10 miles per hour, which won't, I don't think it could kill you unless he ran you over and kept going, but I'm pretty sure it would be a pretty decent hit to get hit 10 miles per hour. Um, you know, that's not that short of 15 or 20, you know, that's, I mean, 20 I think is lethal. Uh, so, he's going at least 10, and he hits, first thing I feel is, like, my leg getting hit by the bumper, and just immediately... I just kind of, like, I have, because I, I jumped up, and then it kind of just, like, you know, lifted me up, in a way, so I hit the, I hit the windshield, everything, and, you know, it was ridiculous, um, I didn't break his windshield or anything, and I, I was surprised, because I'm a little bit of a heavier set guy, I'm, like, uh, like, 280, around there, and, um, but I'm very tall, like I said, and, you know, I jumped up, smashed right into the thing, and the, the dude just fucking looks, and he's like, 
Jesus Christ, and I'm like, dude, if you are so lucky that I don't have anything serious to do, like, that I have something serious to do right now, or else I would be calling the cops, and, and this is it. I get, he, he kind of looked a little, um, looked like he might have been drinking a little bit, but, you know, whatever. Um, so, yeah, it totally, totally, uh, kind of shocked me for a bit that day, and then I, I kind of, you know, cherished the little time that I spent with my girlfriend. So, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Expert Chris X. Uh, please like my video and uh, comment down below if you've had a near death experience. Thank you guys very much. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.